We're ready for the jury? Yes. Okay. Ms. Hurd was uh, unable to be wrong. It, it just didn't happen. She couldn't be wrong. Um, so these little digs um, and uh, they would, it would commence with sort of demeaning name calling, uh, 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 berated sort of to be made a fool of, um, and those would escalate into uh, a full scale argument. There was no way to fit a word in. It was uh, it was uh, a sort of a rapid fire, um, sort of endless uh, parade of uh, um, insults and uh, you, you know looking at me like I was uh, a fool. I was sort of not allowed to be right, not allowed to have a voice. So at a certain point, when that, when, when what enters your mind is, you start to slowly realize that you are in a relationship with your mother, in a sense. And I know that that sounds perverse and obtuse, but, but the, the fact is that some people search for weaknesses in people. Um, that is to say, sensitivities. Um, and when you've told that person your, your life um, and what you've lived through and what you've been through, just as happens in relationships, um, the more that became uh, ammunition for Ms. Hurd to, um, to um, either verbally uh, decimate me or, or to um, send me into a kind of tailspin of confusion and d depression. So I found the only way to find any sort of peace was to uh, try to walk away. If, if uh, she didn't allow me to walk away, um, there were times when um, I, would, I, w I would just go and lock myself in uh, you know, the bathroom or anywhere that she couldn't get into. Um, and that, that happened uh, constantly. If I stayed to argue that, eventually I, I was sure that it was going to escalate into violence, and oftentimes it did. Miss Hurd, in her frustration and in her rage and her anger, she would uh, strike out. She would, it, it could begin with a slap, it could begin with a, a shove, um, it could begin with, you know, throwing a TV remote at my head, it could be uh, throwing a glass of wine in my face. There was no need for it. It just, there was no need for it. It, it. Too many lines were crossed. You could it was you couldn't see the lines anymore. In all of these uh, situations, my main goal was to retreat, because I think in life, most important is pick your battles. If, if there's a battle to be fought, that it's grave and important then that must be dealt with. But small insults and kind of teenage sort of high school tactics, um, this bullying, if you will, 
it was um, becoming too much to take. So I stayed because, of course, I didn't want to fail. I didn't want to, I didn't want to hurt anyone, especially Mrs. Miss Heard. I didn't want to <clears throat> break her heart. I I remember very well that when my father left and m my mother, um, Betty Sue, had uh, that first attempt at suicide that I woke up to, and that visual in my head, and that was a direct result of my father's um, leaving. Um, Ms. Hurd had spoken of uh, suicide on a couple of occasions, so th that also becomes a factor. It, it, that's, that's also something that, that always lives in the back of your brain and uh, you, that you fear. <laughs>